Hey there, I want to talk about the movie that I saw a couple weeks ago and that, in my opinion, didn't get as much attention that it deserved. So, I'm here to make justice. The action takes place about 400 years after Christ and the main character, Hypatia, is a real historical figure. She's actually the first renowned female astronomer, mathematician and philosopher. I remember first hearing about her from Carl Sagan. He talked about her death a little, so when I heard that the movie was done about her, I was obviously interested. What got me even more interested was hearing that Alejandro Amenabar is the writer and director for the movie, and if you're familiar with films like Vanilla Sky or Mar Adentro, I think you understand why. And it gets even better because Rachel Weisz is the one playing Hypatia. She's one of my favorite actresses, I don't think I ever saw a movie with her that I didn't love. So, I knew from the start I'm gonna like the movie. And I did like it a lot. The movie does a great job at recreating the mindset and the context for the Christians, who not long ago were cruelly persecuted, to become the persecutors. As they grew stronger in numbers, so did their intolerance to any other beliefs. Amenabar also manages to bring Alexandria back to life to its very detail, and for two hours you forget about anything else. You are in the 4th century. So what about Hypatia? Her situation was not at all common. She was a woman teaching the men on mathematics and philosophy. And Rachel Weisz plays her perfectly, as being the charismatic, confident and enthusiastic woman who managed to earn the kind of respect usually only attributed to men in those times. Her strong intellect and passion for her work shines through the entire movie. As far as I read about it, the movie follows her life quite accurately, except for a few characters which are of course fictional and also her work on astronomy, which sadly got lost, so we'll never really know what her contribution was. It is known that she worked on improving Ptolemy's model of the cosmos. The movie actually depicts her as changing completely this model, which basically had the Earth in the center of the universe with everything else in the night sky going around it. So during the film we see how she's moving towards the Copernican model, which had the Sun as the center of the universe with everything else going around it. Of course, this is very much speculation. The Copernican revolution took place like a thousand years later. For centuries people believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. This was supported by mainly two facts. First, that the Church was backing it up, and second, that from the Earth. This is how things appeared to be. They could not know, they had no telescopes, they had no knowledge, so she was probably a bad astronomer. They all were. But this doesn't take away from the joy of watching her debate about it and trying to figure out the universe. I'm gonna keep this review really short, but I just wanna add that she was an atheist, and in the times when Christianity was becoming the predominant religion, that was not a good thing to be. I already knew how the movie will end, and you can probably suspect, but watching it I couldn't help wondering what would I have done if I was living in those times and in her position. Having the strength and the courage to stand by what you believe in those circumstances, I mean, not converting to Christianity was basically suicide. I admire her a lot, but what would I have done? I honestly don't know. How about you?